everybody, and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and Own Your Health, and this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. Rhonda emailed me and asked if I could show her how to cook squash in the oven. I'm sorry I can't because I don't cook it in the oven, Rhonda. I cook it in the electric pressure cooker. And the main reason is, is I'm still nursing a torn rotator cuff, hence those pulleys over there for my exercise. And squash is so hard to cut, and it, even when you don't have an injury, that I just can't do it that way. Plus, I like cooking it in the pressure cooker because the broth that it yields is like nectar. It's so delicious. My favorite is the kabocha squash, and this is what they look like. This is a very very small one this year they have not been very good I like to get a huge one that's like eight pounds if I can this was the biggest one I can find but I just put it in and you don't have to have a basket but without the basket when you try to lift it up it could get all smushy and with the basket it's just so easy because you just lift it up so this is great what whatever you're steaming vegetables corn potatoes I love this little basket I'll link to it below it's in my Amazon store so I get the biggest one that I can find and I prefer the eight quart pressure cooker because the six is too small to do what I need to do. So you put the liquid, which water in this case, in the bottom of it, several cups, because I'm gonna drink that. So I put about three cups because I wanna have some delicious nectar. So you just place it in and then you put the top on your pressure cooker. Just know that there's these two little nifty slots for your handle so you don't accidentally put it on your oven. If you always think of this as a clock, 12 o'clock, if you place it down at 11, it closes nice and easily. You look for that button that says pressure cook and then I'm gonna put it on 10 minutes. And then when it's done, I will come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So after it beeps and it's ready, I let it come down to pressure naturally and that way it cools a little bit so that it's easier to handle. And I can just take it out. This doesn't really get hot, this handle. And I will drink that water. It is delicious. It's actually called pot liquor or broth. And as I mentioned, this is an extremely small one. They're usually much bigger and it's very, very soft. You can see I can just push it with my hand. And so what you want to do is cut it. So depending on what I'm going to do with this, what you can do, and if you ever saw my television show, Healthy Living with Chef AJ, I believe it was episode 107, we actually used these to make bowls and we stuffed it with all kinds of things. But mainly, you don't want to eat this part, but you can eat the skin. As a matter of fact, the skin might be the best part. A lot of times when you buy kabocha squash frozen, it's just the orange, but the green skin is amazing. And since this is organic, you can eat it. So I'm just going to make a little cut off the top. Oh, it's a little warm. This stuff is amazing. It's, it's, it, you know, it, it really does compete with the sweet potato for my favorite starch. It is just so, so yummy. But you got to get those seeds out. And you can see they're in here. Now you could air fry it actually now and get it nice and crispy. But it's pretty easy to just get the seeds out. And if you eat seeds, you can actually uh, toast these just like you would pumpkin seeds. But winter squashes are fantastic. They're not always available all year round depending on where you live. Butternut often is. But if you haven't tried kabocha squash, really do yourself a favor. It is one of the most delicious things you'll ever eat. It's sweet, it's yummy, it's very calorically dilute, and I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve. But you gotta eat starch.